Okay, so we got a double door here. So if we don't feel like going in and kicking the chickens out of the way, then we can just open that up and throw some snacks in there. Dirty, nasty little thing. Oh wait, actually leave that open so I can show the um, food. So we have a chain hanging this, but we also have a, um, blocks underneath because so the wind can get going and then kind of jiggle it around. The chickens don't like yeah. the uh, bucket floating around. Yeah. So I have that there just so if one of them happens to knock it over, it catches the food so it doesn't just spill everywhere. And as you can see, our girl Batty back there is drinking out of the water nipples. So my husband made this PVC pipe thing with the water nipples that's connected to our rain barrel, which you can see back there. So he just put some gutters on the top of it. And then there's like a little filter where the water goes in. And then he attached this hose here. And that hose goes and attaches to the PVC. Um, yeah, so that's what we have. We have another one over here, which we don't use right now, but we're thinking about building another smaller chicken coop here to separate our silkies. And here is the coop part. Do you want to open that one up? Okay, so we have our doors hooked on a little string there so that they can have some ventilation. So it's a double door thing here. And then also we have this that pulls down so we could scoop out the litter. This is a deep litter method, so you don't really have to do a whole lot with it. You just kind of throw in a little extra every few months or so. I don't know how often you do that, but you haven't done it yet, have you? <sighs> of course you haven't. So it's nice and dirty in here. I probably need to come in here and clean it. Um, they've got two bars over there at the same height, so it's kind of hard to see it. So um, a couple of the silkies are a little too small to jump up there. Some of them will jump up there and then jump up but a couple of them are really small and don't like to do that. So they end up sleeping in the nesting box, which is a no-no. And then the nesting box, we have it drop down open like this. And we have a couple wooden eggs in here because we have a little booger that's been eating eggs. She's just started. I don't know if an egg cracked and then she was like, ooh, this is yummy. And then now she's just eating them, but yeah. We have one silky rooster, <laughs> and that was his little song. So yeah, that is our coop that my husband built with no uh, instructions. He just saw some pictures and was like, okay, and he just went for it. <laughs> he loves to craft and do woodwork, so that is our beautiful chicken coop that's super dirty and I need to clean it. <laughs> But it's pretty easy. I mean, like I said, how how often do you change the f or re refill the food in the bucket there? About a, once a week. Once a week. And then the water chickens. we don't do anything with unless it's gonna freeze. Then we turn off the water at night if it's gonna freeze. But we just had a lot of freezes that were, you know, didn't we get into the negatives? No. No. Well, maybe Close with the wind chill. Yeah, maybe with, with the, the wind chill. chill. But the one thing but. with the, the pipes, the uh, PVC pipes, I did not glue them. So that way if I didn't um, disconnect or turn off the water and the water expands and it would just pull apart the joints versus breaking your pipes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that little um, spiel Thanks. on our chicken coop. And this is our one acre property. We don't have a fence, so our chickens do not free range. Also, we have a lot of hawks out here that like to snatch up chickens. So there's another reason we don't free range. But um, yeah, and we have a couple dogs. That one laying down there is pretty old. He's almost 14. And then we've got a Brittany, which is a hunting dog. So that's another reason we don't let them out because she would probably eat them. <laughs> Well, try to play with them. She's eight months old, so she thinks she's playing, but she thinks she's playing with the crickets that she eats too. So this is our wonderful paradise.